So I would like to introduce OpenEst uh, Grasshopper plugin that you can download from foodforino.com slash app slash OpenEst. Once you install it, you can find it under main prompts tab in the OpenEst category. The main component that is going to be introduced today is called OpenEst. In order to nest curves as a close polylines, I already have a series uh, of polygons that serves as an example for this tutorial. So the first step is is to say that these polygons cannot be open; they they must be closed. So you can see that these curves actually close the polygonal elements, and the next criteria uh, that must be addressed is that those polylines ha have to be oriented to a 2D plane. So for this, I'm going to use a pack objects component. And this component asks for objects like curves, reps, or surfaces, but essentially what it does, it tries to orient a geometry from 3D to 2D. And if you have um, a list of polylines, you can also use a component called project so it tries to find a plane of, on, on these uh, polylines and once you input uh, P as a plane to plane input and, and cross to, to a G uh, input you, you will find that all, all those polylines are oriented to, to 2D and then once you have these polylines you can directly place them in the Geo tab which corresponds to geometry and then you also need uh, a sheet of uh, a polygon that you're going to nest those polylines to. In this case, I'm using rectangular element, but it also works for uh, different uh, outlines as well that are, are not necessarily rectangular. And I place the, the sheets and you see that those polylines are nested. So the nesting is performed uh, by default using one iteration, so it's it's not optimal, but it's uh, as is done as fast as possible. And I'll try to explain a series of parameters that uh, this uh, component uh, has. So first is the spacing. So the spacing is an offset. So for instance, if I would have a, a slider that gives a value, let's say from zero to, to one, and if I give a spacing a zero, I would increase the spacing, the offset is going to be bigger in order to not to have uh, elements colliding. This is one parameter, the second parameter is placement and there are only three options from zero to uh, two. So if I would place a placement as zero and if I would choose some sort of seed uh, values and so that I can can show you that you can use a render par parameter to, to nest uh, elements using different iterations uh, you see that it tries to pack to as, as rectangular element as possible uh, if I would set placement to one it tries to pack elements only on the left side so only on one axis and if I would like to nest uh, using parameter 2, it's not really following any kind of axis, but it tries to have as tight uh, packing as possible. Uh, but in that case, you might find sometimes, uh, let's say in this case, uh, that, the tight, that the area of packing is, is as minimal as possible, but then you have a bigger areas on the sheet of paper that are really not used like these triangular areas to, to summarize the the placement uh, i made a small graph to, to explain it so option zero is either packing elements to the y or x axis so it's kind of called box packing option one tries to pack elements along y axis so to the left side and option two tries to pack as tight as possible, but then the, the outline is really irregular, but it's the most optimal regarding the area. And every packing starts from the bottom left point. 
parameter that is called tolerance. Uh, this tolerance is essentially a parameter for scale. If you are using really small objects, try to use a, a lower tolerance like 001. If you are having bigger scale than, than this example, use a bigger, bigger tolerance is essentially to, uh, to have more precise uh, uh, nesting uh, internally of this component. So as a default, I'm using 0 0.1. Most of the time it works for, for this kind of scale. And if you have some precisions, just make instead of 0 0.1, 0 0.01. Um, it might take a little bit longer, but it will be more precise. Then comes the rotation. Uh, the rotations by default is four, but you can use also rotation like 360. So if a rotation is one, is set to one, there is no rotation. Always element is, is placed according to, uh, to no rotation. If you are, you're going to place a, an input to rotations number two, uh, 180 degrees. If you input uh, number three, you will actually rotate not by 90 degrees. Um, you would actually do it like this, that it will be by 120 degrees. So, so it's always the value is divided 360 degrees by the number of rotations. And if you have more rotations like 36, then you will rotate a figure uh, by 10 degrees. So depending on, on your goal, you either would like to, to use a smaller number of rotations, which will nest much faster. And if you want to have more tight packings and you have more time to wait, you are using uh, like 360 so that a figure is rotated by, by one degree gradually during the nesting. And then there's the iteration. So by default, uh, the, the openness tries to nest just by using one rotation. But if you have time, you can use a slider to, to input a bigger number. The component runs 10 times. And if you, if you would add more iterations, uh, the component will, will behave much more slower. But then it tries to, to get as, as tight packings as possible. And then if you like to run it in, in the iterative mode, you can also use uh, a Boolean toggle uh, and a button in order to, to run the simulation in real time. You, you would need to set iteration to zero. You need to, to set uh, run Boolean toggle as true and you need to reset in order to input all the values so once you have this one, the component uh, tries to pack it and only outputs the best fit. You can just leave this uh, component to solve the, the problem. And if you don't want to really display all these solutions, you can set it to false, just uh, giving the iterations of, of, of number of iterations as, as much as, as you would like to have. Basically, this component does not do more than this. I think I covered all the steps and all the properties. Uh, the common uh, problem or the common question is the, is how we can nest additional elements like text, uh, additional curves. And for this, I outputted the, the parameter called transform. So this, this transform component is a transformation from, from geometry that was, uh, that has initial position to, to the one that is, has the, the final position. So let's do a quick uh, example about this. Let's say that you like to write uh, a text uh, on or ID of each figure. And I'm going to use a text component from openness. Let's write it on the center of this polygon. And for instance, we can use uh, a text as a, as an indices of, of these figures, and I use a comp can use a component series in order to to count how many elements are in the list. So list uh, length can be used for, for for this kind of example, and then you can input to a T as a text and just scale it to, to a text scale that is. Uh, 
more rational. So, so now the question we have these series of curves that somehow correspond to a series of input polylines uh, as, as a text information. You can use this transform output in order to transform those texts uh, from the previous position to the nested position. So these are transformation matrices that you can directly use uh, for the component of Grasper called transform. Um, don't forget to graft uh, uh, the, the trees so that it matches. And once you place a text here, you can see that all those numbers are being nested. And if you change you know, the, the seed number, and let's uh, use a default iteration of one so it runs a bit faster, you see that every time you nest, you have additional geometry nested together. So for this tutorial, that would be it. And in future tutorials, I'll try to cover other components of openness and how to nest uh, objects, uh, keeping the layer structure uh, and so on.